Hello and welcome to the Yogscast. Today we are playing Chronotide. Ooh. Chronotide. This is uh, made by Vladimir, who made Wintertide, which was a map we played at Christmas and greatly enjoyed. So let's get started. Without further ado, there should be some books in here. Oh God. Okay. With a story. So go ahead and read the welcome one. Welcome. So he's warden. I don't. Oh, I don't know. Apparently, it's the warden of the Chrono Crystal. <laughs> it says here. Yes, the Chrono Crystal up there, by the way. Oh, on the wait, top of that where? thing what? up there. Oh, yeah. Sweet. We're in the middle of this horrible, ruined city, which looks like it's like all grown over and horrible. This is what happens with time. It's uh, it's a great healer, but it also ravages. I'm not sure how it can do both of those things, but. Go Never on. mind. Get reading. Okay. <laughs> okay. Welcome to Chronotide, friend. You have been summoned through the time stream by the Chrono Crystal. It's up there. Up there. Because it believes you can help the inhabitants of this city. I am the warden of the Chrono Crystal, and I shall do my best to explain our situation. A great darkness came to our city and struck at the Chrono Crystal. Dun dun dun. The energy shockwave from the crystal shattered the buildings surrounding it. The earth split and lava spewed to the surface, causing chaos for the city. In an act of preservation, I activated the crystal placing the city's inhabitants in temporal stasis so that they exist between time. The crystal then ejected its seven energy cores through the time stream to seven different points in time. Right. This is where you come in. Throughout the city are seven vaults. Each vault contains a time portal that is preset to the points in time chosen by the crystal. Right. You need to enter each time portal, retrieve the energy cores, and place them in the crystal. Right. The crystal will only be able to activate one vault every hour. The lights around the crystal will indicate the direction of the vault being powered. Once all seven energy cores have been retrieved, the eighth vault at the clock tower will open for you. Right. Oh god, now I've just remembered that Wintertide map. With the big clock tower that had yeah. a counting down timer. So something happened, the, the, everything got blown up somehow. Why did uh, it get blown up? A great darkness came. A great darkness, yeah. And then... I believe in a thing called love. God, I love the darkness. Um, uh, and so it ejected the seven energy calls through time to seven different points in time. So That's right. So we're going to go back in time. We're going to do time travelling. Yeah. Or maybe forwards in time. Or maybe sideways. Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> How's that going to happen? I don't know. Is that happening at the Look, moment? I'm moving sideways through time. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Right. Energy Whoa. cores. This is useful information. Ah. Energy cores look like jack-o'-lanterns. Oh, okay. You retrieve them by breaking them and picking them up. Um, and you stick them on the alcove in the chrono crystal that corresponds to the vault you retrieved it from. Okay. In creating the temporal stasis, the Chrono Crystal transferred memories of key individuals to the pages of books. These will oh. be helping you finding the energy cores. Uh, it's possible also that the darkness, I believe in a thing called love, has, <laughs> has had an influence over the created timeline. So, oh my goodness, things may not be as they seem. I suggest having a look around the city before you journey through any time portals and finding yourself some equipment. Okay. Okay. So. Exploring is encouraged and may be rewarding, it says up here. There's a clock tower over there. Okay. Do you want a sword before you start wandering off into the city? Why have you got a sword? City? Well, there was one in the chest. There you go. Oh, wow. And there's a pork chop, too. Oh, thank and you. And three torches. Oh, my God. I'm Your sharing. generosity... I'm sharing. ...has no bounds. 
Oh my goodness! Where was this? Oh, there it is. The clock tower's over here. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's a that's a good place to investigate. I think first. Although, but obviously, just generally search for treasure in this ruined old city. Oh God! Is that like lava all around us? I think so. Yeah. It got huh. the world. Oh, I found a chest. Um, I can see something in here. Up. How do How do I get in? How do I get to this chest? Oh, there we are. Chicken, store, sword, arrows, another sword. I'm just going to get a bit of height. Oh, man, this looks good. A steak. You found a steak. Good job, man. Good job. Da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah. A large chest. Uh, I found a music block. A music box or a music block. Uh, a block. What? It just goes boom, 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 boom. A That's note it. block, you mean? A note block. Whatever. What all else? All right, Poindexter. Jeez, we can't all be geniuses in the world of Minecraft. That is a lot of lava, isn't it? So the Chrono Crystal, like, trapped us in a bubble of time and saved oh this small ruined bit from lava. I just heard Creeper, I think. R right. I think it might have been dying in the lava. I heard, like, the fizzing sort of sound. Right. Well, maybe... Oh, my God. God, that freaked me the hell out. Are you OK? I think so. OK, don't worry, Simon. I mean, we could literally spend hours just in this one... sort of area exploring these ruined Yeah, I think we buildings. may need to actually... Um, well, he did say there were seven cores, so there may well be one in this area, I would assume. But only one vault is open at a time, and the light points towards the one that's open. Right, oh, right. I is think it? there is a light on actually sort of pointing this way. Oh, oh. okay. Um, I might be wrong. Can we get... See if we can find a way up on one of the sides to get up there. Um... <laughs> I tried going up to the middle and that didn't work. I'll go up the right hand side. You have to see if you can get up around the left hand oh side. Oh god. Okay. Well to be honest, doesn't look like there's much in here. It's just there's like lava cutting through it. It's all overgrown. It's like hollow inside. Yeah, I've went inside, there's nothing much in there, but I'm I'm thinking it's on top is where we want to probably try and go. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Yeah, I think so. What what's wrong with a bit of exploring? Come on. It's dangerous, Lewis. We could die. <laughs> and that would be bad uh for the record. Oh well, can I go up that way? Oh, oh. oh. I think I might be able to go up there. I'm gonna take a jump. Oop ah. Okay, I'm heading up the tower. Okay. On a bit of a risky... Good luck, friend. Risky business, fine. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. We've met up. Uh, <laughs> I think we might have to go this way. I can't believe we both went up basically the same way, but I was on the inside and you were on the oh, outside. Oh, no, it's, not, it's not, nothing up here. This isn't the right way. Go, good job. Um, uh, well, I mean, it's no problem. We'll just... Uh, I'm sort of stuck on the edge here now. It's fine. I can, so I if can you give you some help with that if you want. No, 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 no. Careful, careful now. Ooh. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the biggest help. This is an auspicious start, <laughs> isn't it? Uh, I, we're going to do so well on this map. Oh. We're going to do amazing. Oh. oh, just get down. Oh, Come uh, on. Don't hit me, for goodness sake, man. <laughs> oh. right, I'm going up this way. Up. Ah, oh, this is the, this is the way. This is the way. Oh, there's a chest up here. Um, da da da. Ah, oh, an enchanted bow. Suck it. This is mine. Wow. How do you like that? I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Now, is there something up here? What's that thing? It's like a bit of glowstone, maybe, with diamonds around it, or is it gold? Oh. I don't know. It doesn't look like a pumpkin, so it's probably not. The chronosphere, or whatever the crap we're supposed to be collecting. There's there's a whole bunch of fragments, and we've got to, like, get to them. Oh. But in order to get them, we've got to find the vaults. Oh, man, check this view out from the top of this clock tower. It's magnificent, this city. 
I'll have to I'll have to watch it on YouTube, mate. I'm like a bit stuck here. <laughs> oh, you're missing out. So I I think we probably should go back to the centre, see about where the light points, right, and then follow that to the vault. I could have sworn it was pointing this way, but maybe it wasn't, and maybe I was just wrong. Well, we didn't really check, did we? Um, it, was, it is in a vault, so it might be, might be downstairs. I think it's like a, a lighthouse, and the light turns, and it points towards each of the vaults that it unlocks. Right. Well, I mean, there's, there's, there's. So the key is, one, seeing which direction it points, and then two, actually getting there right. in time, <laughs> finding. But doesn't it, like, rotate every hour or something? So does it rotate every time period? Um, I'm confused. Oh, these lights are on here. I've just seen two lights on the perimeter are on. And by... Oh, no, they've just moved. They've just moved. They're moving clockwise. Right. They're now pointing in a different direction. Okay. Come to the centre, and I, and I and you'll see them. I was looking at the wrong light. It's here. Where are you? Come around the middle. Hello. Look at these two lights. Right. These are on. These are on. It's easier to see now. It's dark and raining. So is it supposed? To, are we supposed to go this way? That, but in like. A few seconds, it will like switch, and they'll they'll move the other direction. <laughs> to like these two will be lit. So, in a there, see, quick, leg it down here. But that doesn't make any sense. Why? So what? But is the vault? Does the vault? The vault is this way, and it unlocks when the lights are on. You see the lights down at the end here. There's a lever in here. Towards the lights, where the vault is, dummy. I think I just unlocked an enchanting table in this room. Oh, God. <laughs> is this it? How long have we got before it switches? Uh, I don't know, but I'm not sure what I'm looking for now that I'm here. There are lights here, but... OK, it's moved now. So now it's ah. pointing down this way. <laughs> It's pouring with rain. And now it's pointing this way. This is so weird, isn't it? It must be something to do with... It can't... But... Did you not listen to the, the intro thing? The lights rotate every minute. Or every hour. Of, of the game hour. And it unlocks the vault that each each of the vaults has a fragment in. Right. So, are there seven on this first bit? Oh, oh it's just moved God. again. Well, I've found a vault and I've gone down it, by the way. And I found a portal. Oh. But now I can't join you because it's locked until... I'll teleport you over. Okay. What the hell? Right, welcome to some creepy weird vault place. So I guess there must be other ways or other portals at the end of each of those lights which take you to somewhere different. I don't know. Maybe, though. Um. Oh, what is this? How you doing? It's a house, I guess, uh, in the nether. Hello? There's no one home. Hello? Uh, chests. It's quite a nice place, actually. There's a diary by Kriana. Hmm. It's probably a lady. Uh, would you like to do the honours? I, I sh certainly would. Go on, then. It's, it's there in that chest. Oh. <laughs> Lovely. It's a bit creepy, Ooh. isn't it, actually? Day one! The sky has turned black, and we cannot see the rest of the city beyond the walls of this cemetery. Oh, bloody hell. Okay. Our daughter found an energy core in the cemetery grounds. Right. My husband has said 
We must hide the energy core in a safe location. Right. The wall of darkness is still surrounding us, and we're getting scared. I'm scared. My husband appears to be obsessed with hiding the energy core. He left with a fevered expression and is not being back for hours. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, um, well, this is disturbing. This is day three. We woke to find our daughter missing. We searched the whole cemetery, and I am... And then there's, like, a really weird, glitchy, strange, almost Zalgo-like weirdness. What? That word is weird. I don't even know what that means. No, of course you don't. <laughs> Zalgo, like... What is that? Can you hear breaking bottles? Yeah, I thought it was you. No. I thought you were just vandalising the place. No, 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 it wasn't me. Um, so heck? she says her daughter, his daughter's disappeared. Kriana disappeared in front of my eyes. She just faded from existence. I guess I'll be next. I can hear doors opening and closing as well. If anyone reads this, look for the angel statue. Once the weeds and leaves have been removed from her, she should guide you to the energy core and to... And then there's the other weird glitch. Oh, God, that door just opened and closed. Oh, my God, maybe it's a poltergeist. Is there a poltergeist here? I don't like this. Hello? Let's go. Hello? We need to do some most haunted. I can, I'll can. i be Derek C C Acora, you be Yvette Fielding. What's that, Sam? What's that? What's that? Is it someone's dead? Someone's dead here. There's someone dead here. Oh, there's something bad happened here. Something very bad happened here. Put the night vision on. Put the night vision. On. The, do <laughs> the oh. door's definitely opening and closing. This is a bit creepy. It's a poltergeist. Look, let's head out. You dummy. I think this is the statue of the angel here. Look. Um. Oh. Oh my God. There's, like, shallow graves. Oh, yeah, I mean, this isn't fucking creepy at all. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay, just slay it. Calm down. Calm down. 